Happy Halloween! <laughs> we are representing my favorite country. That's right, you are in the presence of a Greek god and goddess. And us Greek gods have a treat for you today. Trick or treat! <laughs> <laughs> We've got some big house updates to share. That's right, our fortress walls are being built as we speak. The amount of progress over the last couple of weeks has been insane. We've been stopping by every few days and there's always something new to see. Our builder is a rock star. Shout out to Zena Homes! Hopefully this pace continues and we can move in before our expected April timeline. But we've got enough projects to keep us busy until then here at the Riverside Retreat. We're almost done with our guest bedroom makeover and we've also been working on our dining room. I'll be doing a big dining room reveal before Thanksgiving, but first I wanted to give you guys a preview of the design plan. And that's my cue to leave. I'm gonna go off and do some freak god things. Bye. Bye. So the vision for this space is mid-century tropical. Remember, this is gonna be a vacation rental in Florida, so we've gotta go bold and reflect the location. The dining room is the center of this home, and the design plan all started with a large round table that'll be the main gathering space. I scored this five foot pineapple table on Facebook Marketplace, and we'll be refinishing it in white to contrast with the wood floors. The next piece I found was this beautifully detailed wood sideboard from Article. I just love the unique geometric design and also the warm, earthy element it adds. I came across these pink velvet chairs on Amazon, and they weren't part of the original design plan, but I loved them so much that I ended up changing the design to make them work. Next I found this huge beaded chandelier from Wayfair. This thing takes center stage in the room and definitely makes a statement. Wood beads give off a bit of a beachy vibe, but at the same time, it's very elegant. I think ceilings are just as important as walls, and in this room, I wanted to make them a focal point. So we painted it light blue, and then added decorative trim and a ceiling medallion. This is the same trim we used in the adjacent living room, so it'll feel cohesive, but still have its own look. The last decision to make was on this big empty wall. There was no space for furniture, so artwork was the perfect solution. No room is complete without art, and it's even better if it's large scale and personalized. You can never go wrong with a map, so I designed this abstract aerial map of Tampa Bay and measured the walls to determine the proper size, which came to around six feet by six feet. One trick to save on expensive oversized framing is to divide your art into multiple frames. I split my design up into a grid of six frames using a common 24 by 36 inch size. By the way, I use Illustrator to design my art and Photoshop for all of my room design plans. Another tip to save money on frame mats is to scale the art down when printing to leave a white border so it mimics the look of a mat. Custom framing can still be costly and I'm pretty picky when it comes to these details. So I chose to work with art to frames because they have budget-friendly options in a wide range of styles. I was able to shop by frame size and then narrow down by frame style and width since I wanted a thinner frame. I found this pretty antique copper style which will fit right in with a ceiling trim detail. Every detail with these frames are completely customizable and I opted for no matte with a non-glare plexiglass. The best part is you can upload your design to help you visualize exactly how it'll look on your wall. I was able to mock it up and see how it looked with my design plan before ordering and you can even have them print the art for you. My frames arrived in less than a week and the blank wall has been completely transformed. Having a personalized map of the local area will be the perfect addition to our vacation rental and I think our guests will love it. If you guys haven't been to the shop page on my website, I have a map for hundreds of cities and I can also design something custom for you if you've got a blank wall and need help filling it. We've got more work to do in here before the big reveal and I'll be sharing lots of progress updates over on my Instagram stories, so be sure to follow me there. Let's go get some candy. Candy! Come on. Woo!